This video is an introduction to the Annie Casey Foundation's online events platform, which will be used to enhance the in-person Youth Mental Health Summit. You can access the platform from the web as well as our mobile app, Annie Event. For those using the web, the Chrome browser offers the optimal experience. It's just a quick download from Google if you don't yet have it. For this event, we encourage you to download our mobile app, Annie Event, by using this QR code. The app will help you connect with attendees and share questions and insights during the day. Once downloaded, please enable notifications to not miss event announcements. The event link will take you to a landing page like this. If this is your first time on Casey's Events platform, you will need to set up an account. Please make sure to use the same email address with which you registered. You'll be able to add your profile picture, name, title, and company here and then accept terms and conditions. This is the first screen you will see when you join through the web. On the far left hand side of your screen, you will see sections, home, connections, and messages. At the very bottom of this area is where you will find your profile. Right now we are on the home section and in this section you will see a ribbon with tabs. These let you navigate to other features such as the meeting agenda, to learn more about the speakers, and to view resources. The large area to the right of the ribbon is the body, which will change depending on which tab you've selected. Display on the app version is slightly different. The main sections appear at the bottom of your screen. All the tabs that appear in the web version also show up here. However, you will need to click on each tab to see the body. In the connection section, you'll be able to see all the individuals with whom you are connected. To view new connection requests, click on the bell icon. Once you've connected with individuals, you'll be able to see more of their profiles and be able to message, video call, and schedule meetings. Please keep in mind that we have a full agenda for this one day event. The app has a shake section to make it easier to connect with other nearby app attendees. The message section is where your messages will be located. You can have one-on-one -on -one messages or group chats. Click on New Conversations to start one. Now let's take a deeper dive into the tabs. Announcements will appear in the Announcements tab. If there are new announcements, you will see a red circle to the right of it. For users that have the mobile app, you will receive push notifications when receiving new announcements. The Agenda tab will show you the agenda for the summit by date. Select a specific session to see the description, speakers, linked resources, and sessions engagement. For users on the web, the session engagement will appear along the right side of your screen. For users on the mobile app, the session engagement will appear above Overview. Simply click to participate and view the engagement options. To learn more about the speakers, visit the Speaker tab. You'll be able to view their bios and see at what sessions they will be speaking. There are several resources that have been added to the platform. Some resources are linked to a specific session. On to the Attendee tabs, all of the individuals who have set up their profiles will appear here. To make connections and be able to fully see each other's profile, click the Add button next to their name. For individuals with whom you are already connected, you will have more options such as message, video call, and schedule a meeting. You are also able to see more of their profiles, including any summaries or linked accounts that they've shared. Connect with others in a real-time conversation. This format, which is very similar to Facebook, allows attendees to post what's on their minds, add photos, and like and comment on other posts. Young people attending the conference will see a tab labeled Youth Connect. This is just like the Connect and Share tab, except only the youth have access to it. The KC Social tab gives you a list of the Foundation's social media accounts. If you run into any technical issues, please visit the Help tab. Once you click here, you will be able to view the video and user guide for this platform. You will also be able to chat and email the tech support directly within this tab. Now let's start making those connections. We look forward to seeing you in person at the summit.